Mm-hmm. Why do you think that women's boxing isn't making more money? Uh, because of the male promoters. Yeah. Okay. It all has to do with um, uh, who is uh, in the back offices. Uh, their their whole um, what they always say is that um, women don't generate sales, women don't bring in uh, a lot of uh, viewership, or women fight less rounds than men, so we can't pay you as much. That's all bull crap. The fact of the matter is, in any sport or just in life, right now, women in business earn 70%, 70 cents on the dollar to, to guys for the same job. Women of color earn even less than that. So just in general, women are losing, right? In sports, it's even worse, right? There are very few sports where women earn the same as guys, one being tennis. And why? Because women are on the big stage. It took a long time and a lot of fights for women to get on that same stage so that you will be watching the finals of the matches or even the ones leading up in those major tournaments, the open, having the females being televised. So if you're not showing up, showing us and making the viewership follow and fall in love with how we fight, we're not gonna get the big money. And it's continuing. Why is MMA, has MMA surpassed females? Why do all these female boxers jump to that sport? Because they're earning more. Why? Because they're being shown. Because practically every MMA fight, you now see a female on it. And a lot of times uh, headlining it. So if you're not gonna show us, we're not gonna get earn any money. And you can keep using that argument that's the reason, you know, oh, we're not paying you because you're you're not putting people in the seats. Okay. I mean, you you know, you, you mentioned that and uh, just recently Clarissa, Clarissa Shields, right? That's that's she made the move to uh to MMA, right? She went from boxing to MMA. Well, what are your thoughts on Clarissa Shields, uh, Katie Taylor? I mean, those are the, the sort of the big names in in female in women's boxing right now. Any thoughts? No, it's great. I mean, uh, the thing that is and that you can see is this evolution of female fighting. Uh, before I came into the sport, very few. I mean, and they had women on television before. They had Christy Martin, they had Leah Ali. They had, you know, they had females on television, but it was always that one. Then they would always follow behind one person. Do you know when the first TV fight in America between two females was? In mm. No. 1976, Las Vegas, Nevada. It was uh, a t- blackjack dealer named Levon Ludi, and she fought a, an American Indian uh, young lady whose name was Princess Red Star, her real name, Teresa Kibbe. So they were on CBS on a major card. And after that, TB dropped them. And they put on a good fight, too. It was a good fight? Yeah. And, and that's the thing. That's the thing. You, they follow one person at a time. And there's no way that uh, you're going to get the viewership if I only see one female fight every six to nine months. And they're, even with the, the women coming out of the Olympics... And dominating in the Olympics, you know, Clarissa Shield being the only American that wins two gold medals in boxing. And it's great that, you know, they were able to put her on TV afterwards and, and start and following her. And, and Katie Taylor, these, these are phenomenal athletes because they all have gotten the opportunities now that I didn't get in my day. And most of them uh, have more fights as an amateur than I have as a pro and amateur combined. And they are elevating the sport. When you watch them, you go, these are great fighters. But it's the same thing. They have Clarissa, Katie, 
Michaela and one or two sprinkled in in between and it's the same thing all of these fights that we we have you're only showing these people they're good fighters mm -hmm. but you're still limiting um the viewership uh are getting in the audience because um it's hard to follow these 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 few these fighters when they only fight maybe twice a year i mean that's true that's true you, know, you don't see somebody it doesn't doesn't matter if they're good they're bad or i mean it doesn't doesn't matter like you you, you, don't, you don't know about it so it doesn't doesn't figure equal in pay for equal fights yes yes What's your take on, okay, so the, the greatest fighter of all time, and the greatest female fighter of all time, can we say, I mean, do you think that it's fair to have you in the conversation for, I mean, I don't know, the second one, maybe, first one, I'm not sure, but what are your thoughts on it? Um, I don't feel like that. Why? Um, I, n I never felt like I was this complete fighter until later in my career, but then I lost something because um, early in my career it was all about movement. And then later in my career when my knees started to go and it limited my movement, I started learning about power, which I didn't realize I had because I never really stopped and sat into my punches. So later when I started getting power, I started losing my movement. So, um, I, I I don't feel like um, because usually when they talk about great, greatest, they usually they love to 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 talk about um, the knockout percentages, and I definitely didn't have those, and I never really uh, tried to have knockout punches. Right, right. For me, for me, I enjoyed I enjoyed the strategy of the game a lot more than standing there and getting hit. <laughs> um, so, mm -hmm. so would you say, would you then say, I mean, if we're talking knockout percentages, are we talking like Ann Wolf is like the greatest? I mean, what's your, are there any thoughts on that? Oh, I definitely love Ann Wolf in that. Um, I would have loved to see her fight, um, you know, in Layla, Layla Clarissa. <laughs> I would love to see uh, uh, that type of fight. Um, well, when, um, you know, this is, I, I remember um, for the promoter for Clarissa Shields, he was like writing, oh, can we make Shields uh, Ali happen? And like, I think I responded, I said, what, what do you need Shields and Ali for? You need Shields Wolf. I mean, that's that's the fight you need. Well, exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah. Um, the thing about it was that um, even though I respect uh, uh, Ali, I don't think she fought top people. She didn't have to. Um, so, um, it was connected and protected. Yes. So it's hard to make comparisons on, on what I feel the, the, the best female fighters were because you really have to see who they fought. A lot of people are just going, are, are also just thinking of more undefeated records. And I really hate that. I really yeah. need take that out of the, the equation that really has nothing to do with it because you can you can bring a fighter along coddle a fighter their entire career and and they you know they finish undefeated or with one or two losses and you know oh now they're the greatest fighters yeah yeah really, yeah. yeah it really for me has to do with who they fought uh how, um if they have a uh a, a admirable opponent and and wipe the floor with them and what their you know what their the percentage of how much punches they did or you know how hard their punches it's it's a lot more for me so um i i i, I can't pick any of of okay. the i admire i admire uh, quite a few of them but um i i can't okay. even say what about what, even for guys? Like, I mean, you know, you mentioned that the loss records. I mean, Sugar Ray Robinson had what, Mike, nineteen losses at the end of his career. Yeah, I mean, and nobody cares about that, and and they shouldn't, you know, to be honest with you. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah. 
Look, he fought Jake LaMotta six times. Yeah, you, you know, that's the thing. I love, I love the fact that uh, um, you have these fighters that, um, and those are the fights. You know, you're like, he fought this person and uh, I want to see it again. Uh, you lose, I lose, you know, back and forth, back and forth. I want to see it again because this is a great fight. They could have just fought they by themselves, you know, 10 times and, <laughs> you know, and you're like, every fight I want to see. So a, a lot of these fights, and, and remember, they used to have these great super fights, right? Nowadays, you don't. Yeah. Nowadays, it's, 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 I, where's the, even when you're talking about unification fights now, they're not super fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and a lot of the discussion is like, I, I, this, this part, it really gets to me. There's a lot of this, who's the A side, who's the B side nonsense. And I'm like, why are you, you know, why are we even as fans? Like, why are we even discussing that? You know, we should care who the better fighter is as opposed to who brings in more pay-per-view buys or whatever. I mean, that's like. Yeah, it's a business. No, I, no, it is, Mike, I get it. But I mean, like, as a fan, like, why, why would a fan necessarily care? The fan just wants the good fight, you know. The manager should care. Yeah, the promoters, of course, they should care all the, all the, all the stuff. 